Your father came through for you. You are at 12 o'clock and you look like Mary. You're also at seven o'clock. There are three bells. There are three bells being rung for you. These three bells are three truths. The first truth is at 11 o'clock where your dad is, and it spe speaks of waking up from a sleep. It speaks of transformation through your DNA, and it also speaks of being affected and taught by the energy of tote. We do not worship these energies. We learn from them, just as there are seven spirits of God. We learn from these spirits, and this spirit tote will teach you symbology, numerology, mathematics, and uh, magic. You're going to learn that action is a prayer. So these actions are speaking to your higher self and speaking to your greater reality. And this is why cleanliness is next to godliness, because our outer reality is also a voice and a prayer um, when we act upon it. So the second bell is letting you know that these spirits will come to you and help to shift you throughout your lifetime and lifetimes to come. The third bell speaks of America falling, the flag falling, and a fish. This may reflect that you have um, parasites. There's also a water cup that has fallen over. This reflects that you are following the age of Aquarius, but also that you may be dehydrated and need water at this time. You are being shown at at seven o'clock that you are um, going to the golden age of Aquarius and you have the um, the holy dove symbol at your throat chakra. If you look back at 11 o'clock, there's tote again over your sleeping head. And then at one o'clock, tote is over there awakening you to your divinity, awakening you to your expansion. We are being awoken. This is the apocalypse and it is part of the awakening process. It's strange that you're underwater and are looking at the golden goldfish to the, the golden age of Aquarius when your divinity is the age of Taurus. The age of Taurus is the Taurus bull that is at seven o'clock at a portal doorway of your temple, your body. At six o'clock, there is a skeleton fish that reflects the end of a Piscean age and the three kings at, on your crown reflect the age of Capricorn. You have a roller coaster and a Ferris wheel because in the age of Taurus, they actually worship technology. Although they did follow their intuition over logic, we see at three o'clock that their memory was erased and they lost their divinity or crown and had to go into the age of Taurus. There is also a dragon there that has some kind of reflection of Dagon Dragon, the fish god, at the, at the center of your crown. There are two crowned children waiting to enter the age of Taurus.